Hello and welcome back to Southern RPG. Today I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the best witch leveling build in Act 1 and probably going into Act 2 as well. It's the best one I found and it absolutely slaughters everything. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through what nodes I've been picking as a witch. Now this is pretty much a witch only. It, it can be used in other classes but this is pretty much the best for the witch because of some nodes we'll talk about later on then afterwards i'll take you into a map and i'll show you how it's done and then at the end of the video just so you guys are aware there will be some footage of fighting several different bosses and how it's done and how i did it and some clearing of trash if you want to check that out etc as it's running through different areas there will be spoilers there the bosses are there and it does have those mechanics but if it's something you're interested in that will be at the end of the video so yeah basically you're going to want to start as a witch you're going to start off plainly as a witch and i basically completed act one in about two hours with this build it's absolutely nuts and it's so easy and simple to use if you look at the bar down here we only have four abilities on it five because i just put it there for shits and gills i don't even need that contagion is actually pretty damn good this one's also just because it's on the wand it's not actually even used we only use three abilities for this build we use flame wall we use unearth and we use contagion and that's all you really need you left click right click and an easy one to press if you're using wasd you can put it q e r i prefer it on r but that's really up to you now you can unlock flame wall really early and it won't be in your initial line the occult line is up here we don't really need anything up here apart from these two at the front skeleton warrior and skeleton sniper and unearth unearth is probably one you can grab early to like one of the first ones unearth and you want to grab flame wall you don't need anything else in here at all for this entirety i don't know why i'm swinging the mouse around you don't need it for the entirety of the act one you don't need anything else but flame wall unearth and skeletal warrior and skeletal sniper now the skeletal warrior isn't massively needed to upgrade but skeletal sniper is needed to upgrade and i pick skeletal sniper over arsonist because they last longer and they do more damage personally speaking they take a lot more spirit though but they do hit pretty damn hard but that's not what the bread and butter is of this build and the reason why you want to have some of the things we're talking about in a second is because an ability that you can attach to flame wall well ability that you can activate that activates while using flame wall actually bases its damage off of minion damage because it is minions you probably saw it in the the live stream the devs put out the flaming skull so once you've unlocked your skeletal sniper i got that one at level four because the one i use mainly i got flame wall at level five i just unlocked that because we've just completed act one skeletal warrior is level three because i do actually have a skeletal five on the chilled rattling scepter it gives us two free skeletal level five warriors and it doesn't take from your spirit so you can have two snipers out instead of just one sniper and then a skeletal warrior and then two skeletal warriors it's better to have the two snipers out now you need to have the level up on the skeletal sniper because the more the higher the level the less spirit is required to actually summon them basically so level one it takes 90 then it will take 70 something then 50 and then 41 reservation for level four i got contagion up to level three because i haven't got a level four yet and raging spirits is at level four now this is the pretty much what makes this build so damn powerful leveling in the early game i don't know how it will level out when we get to act two and act three i'll probably do an updated guide because i'm going to be carrying on through act two doing this build now this actually spawns five minions per flame wall so you're going to put up two flame walls and that will then do the majority of your damage and it absolutely obliterates bosses it clears maps in seconds it is ridiculous what you're going to want to look for in items personally speaking your scepter will need plus one on fire or plus two on fire spells or all spells and your scepter is going to need plus one on minion skills or plus two on minion skills anything with plus in minion plus in fire or plus in all spells will be really good uh, i don't think i actually have one at the moment let me try and let me see if this might maybe that i one will actually have one if i don't let me have a look quickly it doesn't have it but you see where it says plus six strength at the bottom of this hammer it will say plus one to all fire spells or plus one to all spells or plus one to minion skills and that is what you're going to want in your weapon slots and for the armor slots you're going to want mana you're going to want mana shield energy shield because this build hasn't got any points put into defenses it doesn't need it you'll see that in the boss fights and it, it, once you learn the mechanics and learn how to dodge around and move around and go through the thing it becomes a hell of a lot easier you don't really need that much defense at the moment in the early game i actually got really lucky with this one and got a 31 percent increased spell damage 
and increased spell physical damage, increased critical spell damage bonus, and two mana per enemy killed. It's actually a really nice wand. Right, so let's have a look at the passive skill tree. When you start off as a witch, you're going to start off in this position. Now, when you start as a witch, on the left side, you will have different things than if you start with a sorcerer. If you start with a sorceress, you will have only spell damage in all of the nodes that have minion and spell damage. Now, this is what made like this makes the witch far more powerful, in my opinion, because you get the 8% increased spell damage and 8% minion damage increased damage in these early slots all over the place and minion health and blah 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 you don't have that in sorceress i'm not sure about the other classes let me down below about the other classes i haven't checked but here you can have eight percent spell damage and eight percent increased minion damage but that will just be spell damage if you're playing as a sorceress this is why it's so good for the witch build now we're going to go up to the first slot up here and we're going to grab all of these eight percent damage and the 16 percent damage then we're going to continue going up eight percent ten percent increased minion damage 15% and 3% attack speed, cast speed, and increased damage for your minions. 8% increased spell damage, and you're going to go all the way around, and you're going to get to this point here, and you're going to take a left. You're going to grab intelligence, 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 and if you get find an item that might need a little bit of strength, or you might need a bit of dexterity, then you can swap one of these intelligence out for a strength or a dexterity, because some scepters require higher strength, and some armors require higher dexterity, depending if you get a really good one with plus in the minion, or plus in the spells, for example. And then you want to go to this circle. Now, you're only, in Act 1, you're only going to be like level 15 to 17 depending if you're doing everything so once you get to act two you're going to go on to fill this circle out and then you're going to go into but this is just for the act one so we're going to go as far as this one here so we're going to just grab the five intelligence then you're going to go attack car speed attack and car speed 25 percent revive faster then you'll have the damage 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 increased area of effect which is actually really good for this build as well i'm hoping it's going to be i'm pretty sure that it does actually work for the flaming skulls and we have minions 10 percent increase life increase life increase life you don't have to do the increased life but it is good to have a little bit of next they do die quite easily now after we actually leave act one and go into act two there are some nodes where you can increase your ignite etc so this is actually these nodes here will actually help out quite a lot for this build and you can go a little bit further and there's going to be a lot more of the minion nodes over here this is more defensive depending on if you need that or not. You kind of just want to switch it up depending on how you feel and what you need. If you feel like your uh, your minions are dying too quickly, then you're going to want some defense. If they, if they don't die hardly ever, then you need more attack. It's just how you can kind of go with it as you're going along. Right, so now I'm going to go to a map. I'm not going to tell you which map it is because I don't want to give any spoilers until the end of the video. At least there's going to be a big spoiler warning when I edit it so you guys can like go from the video if you don't want to see any of the spoilers all right so when you get to mobs you just want to put down two walls and two walls of fire and you can keep stepping back and just placing two walls down and it'll give you 10 of these skulls and it just literally melts everything if i didn't lag out it's probably dropping me out there's a massive storm in london at the moment so the wi-fi is being a little bit of a numpty it's gonna drop me out and right in a blood puddle as well that's gonna be amazing right we're back in so basically you just drop two down and you see it? it's actually got me stuck on a blade doorway now and it does a significant amount of damage now if you want you can press your right click and summon up some more skeletons and they'll start the the uh scorpion skeletons and they'll still stuff a lot quicker but you can just run through and and you just place them down wherever they kind of fly around and do their business anyway so let's go and spawn some skeletons these guys can be kind of annoying you gotta be careful if you when, when you realize where you are here these guys the blood bald guys they they do a significant amount of damage with the stuff that gets dropped on for these blood puddles they're really really bad but that's basically all you gotta do that's this all the build is you just put down two firewall and when you before you get these flaming skulls which you'll get for doing a quest just before you near towards the end of act one you just place the walls and you just go around in circles so instead of having those flaming skulls just do a massive amount of damage you'll just have the two flaming walls and you'll be using your r on your contagion which you'll see in the footage in a moment if you have any questions feel free to ask me down below i will answer any questions that you guys will have if you need to know any further information you can also jump my discord and you can jump in and ask me questions as well but you're basically just gonna want with the skulls you kind of just don't even have to place them on top of the guys it's good too because you get extra damage from the wall of fire but you can just place them around anywhere but when you're lower level you're going to want to have these placed on top and you kind of want to go around in circles as these guys oh god i'm teleporting around you kind of just want to go around in circles and kind of get them to miss and just have them running into the wall there's blood wall there that is that, that blood stuff is absolutely insane but i'm not over leveled i'm not over geared i actually 
sped run through the entirety of the act one so it's not like i'm just smashing this one anyone can do this it's not difficult but yeah anyway let me know down below what you think let me know if you need any help i'll leave up a couple of videos of different fights now i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching fly safe
Cause we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution